surgery is so rare, they could literally name the surgery after him. I mean, it, it, the doctors just don't see it. And unfortunately, he started to come into his own right when he got injured. 11 touchdowns, just three turnovers. Well, so is it to the other team right there. Great poise there to be patient. And his position. You know what, Larisha? It, it, it's so interesting you say that because this was a guy as he almost throws another one. Huh? Next and keep it going. Yeah, no doubt, Larisha. No doubt about it. Clean pocket here. Steps up. Throws a strike. Keishon Boutte climbs the ladder. That's the play of the day. Brennan to Boutte. A spark for this LSU offense. See Miles Brennan eyes to the right to the middle, comes back, got his one on one down the sideline. And again, you see Miles Brennan watch his face mask in his eyes. To the right, slight to the middle, he wants to hold the safety, make sure he's got that window downfield for the one on one. Again, good poise. You see the option here on the dump off throw. These are all things that are showing the coaching staff coming in that are freshmen that are going to be expected to contribute. So wide open competition, at least at all of the receiver spots outside of the one that wears number. Who should I hire? And not that that was the end all be all, right? You go through the yeah, thorough sure. interview process. But Brady's answer was Jake Peets. You know, he's right on my staff. This can get his pawn there, Glenn Logan, the senior out of Louisiana. This defensive line's looked really good. Boone feeding them the defense and introducing things in stages. I, I You know, we're not going to see a lot today in terms of scheme and pressure and all because when you have the athletes LSU does, Jay, you don't need to overcomplicate things. You're going to go into the majority of the games that you play with better players. In the Naturally, if he can get back to the ability, would you say, in your estimation, this is not it coming from LSU. They made it clear. No yeah. front runner. Is he your front runner? Yeah, he is by a nose. I, I think, to be honest with you, if it's just me, <laughs> you're not supposed to be tackling uh, the quarterback. <laughs> that's great. I love it. There you go, Jake Peets. Bend them rules. That's great. NFL draft coming up. Draft analyst for us for ESPN. Jamar Chase, where do you expect him to go off the board, and what does he bring to an NFL roster? Well, I expect him somewhere in that top 10 range. I mean, I don't think he's going to get out of there. Uh, I was at that pro day. He put on quite a show with the 11-foot broad jump. I uh, they're an elite program. Um, they're, they're an elite producer of talent. You can just go on up and down any NFL roster, and you look at certain positions where they've had a, a ton of success. Who stands out to you? Yeah, I think Jabril Cox, the linebacker transfer from North Dakota State, is going to have his name called somewhere. I don't think we would be, and that's not that's not his fault. It is a reflection on the talent level around him. I, you know, I, to me, I think so too. Identical year they'd be national champions. Yeah, yeah, and one of the things too, and and I. Again, we're, we're nitpicking here, and it's something I went back and did. Well, wait a minute. Maybe that 77% completion percentage isn't overly accurate. I don't know. That's for the NFL guys to do. But there's just there's so much to dissect. We threw three to 11 touchdowns to three interceptions a year ago. He's got to stay healthy. If he does, you know, with this offense back in kind of that Joe Brady mold uh, under new offensive coordinator Jake Peets, Who's to say we're not talking about Miles Brennan throwing for 4,800 yards and 47 touchdowns in the fall? He faked the spike, unloads a deep ball. Brennan for the touchdown finds Keishon Boutte for the first touchdown of the day, and it comes off a fake spike. He fooled his own defense there, Tom. <laughs> he fooled his own defense. He fooled us as well. But this is spring ball. We get a spike. That doesn't do you any good. Let's go ahead and throw it downfield. Again, he looks left, keeps any safety danger away, says one on one, my best playmaker, Keishon Butte, the one known commodity that you can truly trust right now in this receiving core for Miles Brennan and the other three quarterbacks competing. Is um, is, is the goal of spring football. Who's going to be the Terrace Marshall opposite of a Jamar Chase? You know, uh, who's going to step up and, and become the lasting impression of the 15 days? Uh, but it's one fifteenth of the puzzle, right? And, and everything I can remember about mm -hmm. something. And if you're creating that type of environment with your players, then you're truly creating a family atmosphere. Brandon unloads a deep ball, almost intercepted. 
During that discussion, we missed an interception from Jay Ward. He's a converted corner to safety. And that, Tom, I wanted to ask you about that because when you get recruited to an SEC football program, it, it, it's very likely that you show up and they go, okay, you used to be a wide receiver, now you're a corner. You know, or we're going to put you at tight end, we're going to put you at safety. How malleable, flexible do you need to be when you go into a particularly a Power 5 program as a, as a top high school recruit? Well, the issue with most, not all, but with most, is they've all been patted on the back and told how good they, they are since they were 12 years old, right? So now you're, you're the big fish, and I, you can find a way to get onto the field. And I think the kids that are open to give themselves a chance to compete yet. So the kids that do and that are willing to listen and be coached and be open to different options, they they, they're ahead of the curve. Fifth or sixth guy, LSU has proven to be able to do that today with both their ones and their twos. First year defensive line coach Carter brings acclimating and being the impact player he was expected to be early. I don't think that's going to be the case. Number zero. Roy coming uh -oh. strong again. This defensive line is feasting right now.